You know, it's, it's interesting. I think when the banners were up um, and I was listed as one of the speakers, I got a flurry of calls asking, what are you doing there? <laughs> what do you know about them? Better be very careful. Those people, you know, human beings are very interesting. We judge what we don't know. We have an opinion on everything, whether we know it or not. Then we carry the Holy Bible and say, in this we believe. But the book says, judge not that ye may not be judged. That leader whom we all aspire to emulate, Jesus Christ, asks us to limit our discourse to yea or nay, because anything other than that would lead to falsehood. So if you don't know, you don't know. It's not a crime to be ignorant, but it is a crime. And I think His Excellency said it here. To say what is untruth. Because your words carry weight. And we judge each other. We judge ourselves. Not ourselves, we judge others. We don't see the fault in ourselves. We don't see the, the heavy burden that we carry. And we look at the, 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 the small pebbles on others. But what you attack most in others, look carefully, you find it more in yourself. For me, the critics are hypocrites. The first question I ask is, the brotherhood, do they hurt anybody? They say no. Do they believe in that universal creed, love God with all thy heart and all thy might and love thy neighbor as thyself? They say, perhaps. <laughs> I said, okay. As long as they're not known to hurt anybody. And this space that we call earth is our joint inheritance and we live at peace with them, then I will identify with them. The hypocrites amongst us will wait until when it's time for elections, then they start finding their way to Ambo. <laughs> They're looking for endorsements. They go, they go under the cover of darkness. By day, they're in other churches, other churches. By night, they go like, you know. <laughs> I'm here midday. <laughs> because all I seek is our collective good. That we as a people, we as creatures of the almighty creator, we serve his light, live in his creation in harmony. That's all I seek. You know, my first um, distant contact with the Brotherhood was in the 70s. I grew up in Lagos, you know that. But I had family who lived at Umbukba, Lincoln Street to be precise. And so, occasionally, when my father would bring us to Calabar, so that we're not too distant from where we come from, passing by Umbukba, Ambo Street, and going on to Lincoln, I would see people in the white garment 